How many of us have been told we have to walk 10,000 steps a day in order to be healthy? I think a lot of us track it on our Fitbit or Apple Watch, and if we haven't hit that magical number by the end of the day, we feel like we've failed for that day. So where did this concept come from? Well, it's actually really interesting. This is a number that was developed by a Japanese marketing campaign in the 1960s. A company called Yamasa was developing a pedometer and they called it Manto Kai, which translates to 10,000 steps in English. Now, they didn't choose this because studies suggested this equates with health outcomes. They chose it because it sounded like a catchy marketing term. Now that said, there are studies that suggest that increasing your steps around that number of 10,000 certainly can improve your cardiovascular health and reduce your mortality risk. But is that the sweet spot? So there was a study in 2019 in the Journal of the American Medical Association, and they were looking at older aged women. And the results found that women who got at least 4,400 steps a day, compared to those who got 2,700 or less, had a reduced mortality risk. But the authors also pointed out that the benefits seemed to kind of max out at 7,500 steps a day. Another study in the same journal in 2020 included middle-aged men and women. And this one actually found that getting 8,000 to 12,000 steps a day reduced mortality risk compared to those who got 4,000 or less. More recently, same journal, but 2021, similar patient population. This study found that getting 7,000 steps a day reduced their mortality risk from cardiovascular causes by 50 to 70%, which is huge. But again, the, the authors of the study pointed out that going above 10,000 steps didn't really seem to provide an added benefit. So there's lots of studies out there, but the consensus seems to be that 7,000 to 8,000 steps is kind of that sweet spot that you want to aim for each day. This can improve your cardiovascular health and reduce your all-cause mortality risk. So bottom line is, lace up, pound the pavement, hit the treadmill, or just get up from your couch or desk many times a day to get those steps in. It could just save your life.